Hey guys, so I'm Sebastian and today I'm going to show you around the campus of Karolinska Institute. I want to give you a feel for how it looks and how it might be to study here. So let's get into it. And we're going to start off with the most impressive building on the campus, the Aula Medica, which is directly behind us. Aula Medica is one of the coolest buildings here. It has a huge lecture hall inside where usually the Nobel lectures are held by Nobel laureates, but also the inaugural ceremony for new students. So me and all the other students that started here at Karolinska together with me, we had a huge ceremony held by the KI president where they welcomed us and it was very, very nice and it was super cool to sit in the same seats as the Nobel laureates. Okay, coming from Aula Medica, we can now walk into my second favorite building on campus and probably one of the coolest university buildings I have ever seen, namely Biomedicum. So, now that we've exited Biomedicum, you can actually see how large it is. And you might have guessed by now, but there's a lot of lecture halls in there as well. And there's laboratories in there, so if you have anything to do with laboratory research that might also be connected to the hospital, you might work there quite a bit actually, which is super nice because it's such a pretty building. Next up, if you want to get involved, this is your place to be. It's Medicinska Vereningen, which is the medical student union, or the student union for all the international students. Right now it's being renovated, which is why it looks a bit chaotic, but here a lot of events happen and you can get involved as a student. You can maybe partake, for example, as I did in the Nobel after party, which was hosted by Medicinska Vereningen this year. And it's super fun. You can get, you can meet a lot of people here and make some new friends outside of your studies. And it's generally a very, very cool building and very nice people. So I can definitely recommend checking out their website or just looking at them in general. So now behind me you can see the main entrance to the main building of Karolinska Institute as well as the library where I'm sure I spent a lot of time and a lot of other students too so let's check that out. A little fun fact, all the doors here open automatically. So KI has its own gym, as you can see, and its own sports hall. And here, student-organized events happen all the time, as well as a sports app that you can use to book your favorite activities like football, volleyball, soccer, um, whatever you want. You can practice it here, probably. Uh, also fighting and other sports. And it's just for you, as a student, totally free of charge to get a bit more physically active during your studies. Okay guys, so now I'm just sitting here in the main building of KI and basically if you want to go anywhere, if you want to go to the gym, if you want to go to the library, if you want to go to your lecture halls, this is the main connecting building. You will walk through these halls to basically any place and I spent my fair share of time here but obviously not as much as in the actual lecture halls. Also, what's really cool to know is that at KI, basically, you can study wherever you want. There's small niches everywhere where you can just sit and study, and you're not only limited to the library, which is super nice, I think. And this is the main library. 
You can book group rooms or just sit in the open together with everyone else. And you're also allowed to talk in the library because there's different zones and depending on which zone you're sitting, you're actually allowed to talk or at least have a quiet conversation. So now we will enter Schiele building, which is probably one of the coolest designed and decorated places here at KI. And if you do any master's or bachelor's program that has any laboratory classes in there, you might have some classes in here. So I was used to buying lunch every single day at university before I came here. But at Karolinska Institute, you have microwaves everywhere and you're kind of expected to cook your own homemade meal and bring it to class every single day and then heat it up. Which is really nice because you get to learn cooking a bit and it's quite fun and very, very cheap. But it's also something that you just have to be aware of and now you know. We are standing now in front of the venue of the Nobel Assembly, which is the Nobel Forum. And here the Nobel Assembly chooses the Nobel laureates in physiology or medicine, so the choice of who wins the Nobel Prize is happening here, which is, I think, super, super cool. And often this venue is actually used for symposiums, for lectures that are also open for students. And you could come here and potentially see or hear a Nobel laureate speak, hold a lecture, whatever you want. It's super cool and you can get to have some Nobel feeling for yourself. So we are now coming to one of the places that I spend most of my time at, which is Widerströmska Hüset. So Widerströmska Hüset is one of the buildings that I spend most of my time at, but I know that every single program has lectures here. It just houses a lot of different lecture halls, but as well offices and all of the different spaces that you could need. And generally, it's a very, very nice building. Let's get into that. So to give you an understanding of where KI housing is actually located, I'm gonna film my way there and probably speed ramp it to some degree, but not too much. It's, it's very close to your lecture halls. And we're there. So it's super close to campus. It's pretty much on campus, basically. And this was the distance from Widerströmska Hüset, but to the regular campus, like the main buildings and the library, it's probably the same distance. So it's very, very close and really well connected. So to get into the student housing you have to have a passcode and a key card and I do not have that so I can't show it from the inside sadly. But from what I've seen the few times I've been to the student housing, it's really nice and neat. It's definitely better than what I've been used to uh, with in regards to student housing. But I would definitely recommend to check it out online. Check out on the website if you are eligible for KI student housing and if you are try to apply because it's really cool and a great living situation. That was it from me guys. I have shown you the campus with all the important parts of it. Obviously I had to draw a line somewhere so it's not everything in there. But I can definitely recommend you guys to come here, see it for yourself if possible. If not, you will love it. It's a great campus. It's super pretty, very very nice, very green. And I hope that I could help you a bit in understanding the KI campus and getting a feel for it. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.